Assalamu alaikum to safety practice. So today we're going to do the last set of practice in geometry. So let's uh, start with this question. So in the figure, so what is the value for, of x? So uh, this is 50, this is 40, that means the sum of those two is 90 and the sum of the internal angle of a triangle is 180. So if this is my, for example, a, so we know that a plus 50 plus 40 is equal 180. So the sum of the internal angle of a triangle is always 180. So this means we'll have A plus 90 equal 180. So if I minus 90 both sides, I got A equal 90. That means here this is a right triangle. So if this is a right angle, that means this one again is a right angle because those are linear pair. So if this is 90 and this is 40, so obviously this one should be the same thing as 50. So 50 is my choice. Next question. So the area of the triangle ABC show in the figure is 30. So the, so the area of this triangle is 30. So let me do something. So let me draw the high here. So this is the high of the triangle ABC. We know that the high is perpendicular to the base. So let's name this as my H. So the area of the triangle ABC. So, so we know that the area of the triangle ABC is half base, which is AC, times H. The triangle ADC, they have the same base, but the height is not the same. So let me draw the height here. So we'll name it K, for example. All right. Now, the area of the triangle ADC is half uh, base. The base is the same because they are the same base, times K, which is the height of the triangle ADC. So as you see here, look at this. Look at here, you see? This is a right triangle. This is a right triangle. And those two triangles are similar. You see? This triangle and this triangle same because those are part because if this is perpendicular, if this one is perpendicular to the base and this one is perpendicular to the base, that means if two lines are perpendicular to the same line, those two lines must be parallel. So if two lines are perpendicular to the same base, that means they are parallel. That means if this parallel, that means those angles are congruent. And if those angles are congruent, they have what they are corresponding angle. So that means this triangle and the small triangle are similar triangle. So if they are similar triangle, that means the corresponding side are proportional. The corresponding side are proportional. That means I will have H over K is the same thing as BC over DC. H over K is BC over DC. So here we have H over K is equal to BC, which is 2 plus 1, over DC, which is 1, which means that if I cross multiply this now we'll have h is 3k and k if i divide by 3 will be h over 3 so which means that this is half base times h over 3 and this is equal to what half base times h times one third and this is the area of the big triangle, which is 30. So that means this is 30 times 1 third. And 30 times 1 third is 30 over 3, which is 10. So B is my choice. Next question. So in the figure, what is the value of Y? So we know this uh, property that the uh, external angle is equal to the sum of the other two angles, which is not 
supplementary to that angle. This is a supplementary angle to that angle. So those two are not. That means this is equal to the sum of those two. So I will have y plus 30 equal y minus 15 plus y plus 15. So this is cancel out minus y both sides. So I can cancel this y if I do minus y minus y it cancel out. So what's left is 30 equal y and this is my choice. Next question. So uh, in the figure the ratio of x to y is 2. So that's mean I will have x to y equal 2 which means that x equal twice y. So this is twice y and those are supplementary angle which mean y plus 2y plus y equal 180. 3, 4y equal 180 because uh, y plus 2y, 3y plus y is 4y. So 4y equal 180 divided by 4. So that means y will be 45. D is my answer. Next question. So in the figure, the equations of the line AB is y equal x plus 2. The difference of the x, the x and the y coordinate of any point on the line is equal to. So this is the x coordinate of the point on the line and this is the y coordinate of the point of the line. So if they take the x minus the y, so that's mean I will have, I will minus y both sides. I get 0 equal x minus y plus 2, then minus 2 both sides. So I got minus 2 equal x minus y. So this is the difference between the x coordinate and the y coordinate, which is minus 2. And B is my answer. Next question. In the triangle ABC, AB is equal to 5 and AC is equal to 3. So uh, let me draw a triangle. So let's assume, so this is 5, this is 3, so this is my BC, this is A. Okay. Now, uh, what's the value of BC? So we know the triangle inequality. The sum of the sides is always, is always greater than the third side. So the sum of two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side. So I know that AB plus AC is greater than BC. So 5 plus 3 is greater than BC. That means 8 is greater than BC. So here we have BC is less than 7. Not always true because we may have BC equals 7.5, still less than 8. So, uh, of course, those uh, is it BC greater than 7? No, because I can have BC, it can be uh, any number. You see, BC can be anything less than 8, so it can be uh, less than 7, it can be equal to 7, it can be anything. So, we cannot decide which one is the true statement here. So we cannot decide in this condition. We cannot, because all of them may be true. Next question. In the figure to the right, what is the area of the triangle ABC? So for the area, we need the base and the high. I have the base. We don't have the high. We don't have any angle or any information that can lead us to get the high. So we cannot decide. Uh, in the figure to the right, which of the following is the measure of the angle theta? Is it less than 45, e greater than 45? All right, so x is not equal to y. So if x is not equal to y, that means this cannot be true. Because when x equal to y, the angle is always 45. When the x coordinate and the y coordinate are equal, does mean the angle is 45. So here, they're not equal. So either we can have x is greater than y or x is less than y. Does mean we don't know. 
So if we all know, we can all decide. We must have the extra information. At least we can decide if the angle is greater than 45 or less than 45. So here we cannot decide. An isosceles triangle, A, B, C, has side equal. So we have equal side for that isosceles triangle. So we have equal side, 4, 4. So which one of the following is the area of the triangle ABC? All right. So we need the base. We don't have the base. Maybe you can take this one as a base, but where is the high? You see, I need a high. I cannot get the high if I want to find out the high here. Uh, I need more information to get the high. So uh, again, I cannot decide. So E is my choice. This is all about this set of geometry questions. So I hope you got a big picture about uh, the geometry question on the SAT. So uh, please, if you have any comment about the way that I present and I teach, so do so. It will let me improve my way of teaching. Uh, thank you for watching the video and Assalamu alaikum.